At first I was a little bit nervous about coming up here. But then I remembered that the voices in my head laugh at everything I say anyway. <laughs> <laughs> See, I have schizophrenia. And it can be interesting hearing voices. I get voices on the appearance of people, the sex life of the bus driver, <laughs> the fact that I probably should have worn clothes before I left my apartment. <laughs> yeah. I also get voices, you know, saying, um, some people feel sorry for me, some people say, oh, you can get better, and some people just don't care. But I couldn't care less because they're just voices in my head. <laughs> I also get hallucinations. So one time I was shopping at Save On Foods and I swear I saw a package moving. Freaked out, I looked closer and it was a cockroach. <laughs> See, I could handle him being there. It was just a little bit much when he asked to borrow my save on card. <laughs> Another side effect of my medication, I drool. <laughs> it would be great to have a girlfriend say, Oh, Ashley, I love it when saliva comes from your mouth. <laughs> Can you do it some more? <laughs> I spent some time on the psych ward uh, when I was diagnosed with schizophrenia. And my brother took me on a, on a day pass, and he drove me to the parking lot of Riverview Hospital. As a joke, he said, Ash, this is your new home. <laughs> I was terrified, because the only internet they had was dial-up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there was also this creepy old guy that kept asking me strange questions while I was on the site board. I think it's time for a new psychiatrist. <laughs> you know your ward is boring when the most exciting part of your day is getting sparkles for your collage. <laughs> or finishing a puzzle with only three missing pieces. <laughs> I'm a big gaming nerd and I like to play this game called Left 4 Dead where you have to run from zombies and make it to a safe room. Sounds like a typical day on the psych ward. <laughs> The only difference is that the nurses put up more of a fight. <laughs> I'm a germaphobe, and I don't touch food when I eat it. I always use a knife and fork. So you'd think not touching food with my hands would be a good way, to, way of losing weight? <laughs> Obviously not. <laughs> I have a dilemma when I take my medication. The other day I was feeling especially nervous, but I didn't take any clonazepam. Not because I was afraid of the side effects, but because I was too scared to touch the bottle. <laughs> and I'm the only one I know that goes to Starbucks and asks the barista to wash their hands before they prepare your drink. I get responses like, are you kidding me? <laughs> to, what a weirdo. To, she's on to me. I hope she doesn't tell the boss. <laughs> I also went to Starbucks and I got leprosy. Thumbs up for Starbucks! <laughs> I use so many Lysol wipes that I have stock in the company. In fact, I'm going to be their spokesperson. Hi, I'm Ashley, and I'm a germaphobe. Do I have to sanitize these wipes before I touch them? <laughs> I was really disappointed the other day because I saw a sign that said women's panties half off. <laughs> I was also really d disappointed when I went to see the bare naked ladies. <laughs> Some people think that money is the root of all evil. Well, they're wrong. Public toilets are. <laughs> see, I'm a germaphobe, as I said, and my toilet seat is so clean that you can eat off of it. Oh. In fact, just the other day, I had a rump roast. Oh. When people see a cat, cat, they think, oh, how cute. When I see a cat, I think, I wonder how many gallons of bleach it would take for Fluffy to be safe to touch. <laughs> See, I'm the queen of anxiety as well. I've got major anxiety. And I've been giving this tool to work on my anxiety, and it's nice to give it a name. My anxiety's name is Albert. So when my neighbors hear me yell, F you, Albert, they think I either got a roommate, or they finally found the guy from the second floor. <laughs> 
I'm a heavy metal fan, and a lot of people tell me that it'll have a ne negative influence on me. You know, heavy metal having you know a, a negative influence, and and I thought, yeah, well maybe, but maybe that my weekly virgin sacrifice. Oh. <laughs> My grandma introduced me to one of her friends one time, and her friend said, what a handsome grandson you have. <laughs> oh. And I thought, at least she thinks I'm good looking. <laughs> <laughs> With my anxiety, my strongest and worst stress is doing laundry. I just cannot get over the fact that I'm washing my underwear in the same machine as the 90-year-old lady down the hall. <laughs> One of these days, I'm going to have to let her out. Oh. 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 she just saved me 100 bucks I'd rather not spend on a therapist. <laughs>